Indeed. Thank you, Barrow. Hello, everybody. I'm Tom, and you are watching me play Warframe. Today is just a quick video. Barrow's here. Gonna go over what he's got. Interesting. Pack Leader Emblem, as well as the Glaring Emblem. Um, I believe these are the pretty much the same as there was a glyph that they released of these two not too long ago, but now they've got emblems of them as well, which is nice. Uh, we have Primed Expel Corpus, extra damage to Corpus, as well as Corrupted, Grenier, Infested. Pretty self-explanatory. All technically good, but I find them too situational. I don't like switching out the mods depending on what mission I'm going on, so I never bother using them. <laughs> Hence, I haven't bought them. We have Prime Fever Strike, very, very good mod. Adding extra toxin damage to your melee, da to your melee weapons is just good. And apart from anything else, melee is kind of like the most powerful thing in the game. It's more powerful than primaries and secondaries. So getting 165% toxin damage, 165% toxin damage on your melee weapon is really, really good. Uh, Prime Quick Draw, extra re reload speed. I mean, Again, strictly speaking, better, but you've got to find a weapon where you can actually fit this, and like, it'll take a lot more former investment than it's probably worth on most guns, but, you know, it's there if you want it. Prism Robex. Pretty damn good as far as like a, I don't know what they call, like a brawler type weapon. It's like the feet and hand weapons, like the gloves and boots kind of weapon. Um, Prism Robex is up there. It's one of the better ones. I really, 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 really like it. Uh, Prism Twin Gremlins. Eh. From what I played with them, they seemed kind of shit. I mean, they're better than the regular Twin Gremlins, so if you like them, these ones are strictly better. But, um, I don't really like the Gremlins that much. They shoot, they've got like a, um, a travel time with their weapons. They fire like little needle things. I, I don't like them that much. Uh, Katia Chestplate. It's a cool looking chestplate. Again, I find this, um, hologram thing to come out a bit too far, but aside from that, it's fine. Katia Shoulders. Now, these are really, really good. Because they don't have any hologram or anything. It doesn't really go on Wukong particularly well. Because he has rounded shoulders with pointed things. But if you have any like kind of angular warframes. They go really well. Because they sort of fit the aesthetic. Same with the legs. Equally cool. Um, we've got the Anpu staff skin. Oh. And Barrow holding it. Interesting. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. Angular diamonds to find the slender staff skin. Fair enough. That may be new, I don't remember ever seeing it again. And then the Ampu Sigatra. Eh. It always looks weird on two-handed weapons, because the Sigatra goes like in the middle of the weapon for some reason, but... There it is there. Uh, Katia Atomos Mask. Your Operator. It's like a Bane Mask. I was born in the dark. Uh, <laughs> Scimitar Side Donor Skin. It's... I've seen... This has been on... Like a couple of weeks ago, I think, but it's 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 like a very Anarosy kind of colors. Uh, the Katia palette, it's a pretty good palette in all honesty. It's got some like, well, I mean Barrow Katia colors essentially, uh, some teals and browns and stuff. Uh, the Katia arrow skin, it's all right. The Prisma arrow skin is better. Um, if it's pretty much just the tip and the tail, it doesn't. I don't think it has any special thing on its, like, trail or whatever, so we can't really do anything there. Um, Anara's Tomb Skin. Interesting. This may be new. It's a capture scene, so you can, uh, go into capture and take photos there. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. I may have to buy that. Uh, the Tigress Exilus Skin. Again, I just prefer Tigress Prime Skin to this. However, it's worth noting the Exilus Skins do take color really, really well. It's, it's, like, all this... Like, textured part here is actually, like, metal, so it will take, like, a... It takes your tertiary spot, I believe, as far as color goes, but it takes it as if it was metal. Whatever slot it is, it takes it as if it was metal, so you can get some really cool-looking guns with the Exilus skins. But I prefer the Prime version of the Tigris, so... Mm. Uh, we have the Nexus fur pattern. It's just a fur pattern. It's got some swirls on his legs and stuff. It's fine. Uh, three day credit booster, 350 ducats. I mean, I guess if you have excess ducats, it might be worth it. And you're planning on doing a lot of farming. Um, and then we have Sense of an Arrow's blueprint, as always. But that's pretty much it. Um, I need to sell some stuff to buy those glyphs. In any case, sure thing, Barrow. Anyway, 
Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.